Welcome back to PWAs for a beginner series. Can you believe that we're already in the last video of chapter two? Ooh. <laughs> um, so in the last couple of videos of chapter two, we already talked about, you know, what's service worker, um, service workers events, fetching, caching. What about other than all these, what can service worker do beyond caching? Yeah, so fetching and caching is kind of the key role that service workers play, but it's not really the only thing they can do. There's some other things they can add to your project. Um, two of the coolest capabilities that they can add are um, push notifications and periodic background sync, which are two, you know, slightly newer web capabilities that PWAs can make use of. And they make, you know, your PWA look and feel more like a native app. Yeah, they, they help bring your PWA closer to a more native experience. Cool. Let's start with push notification then. How do I do that? Yeah, so push notification is super straightforward. It's going to sound a lot like the stuff in the last couple of videos. Um, we just need to add an event listener for the push event. Um, in this handler, which you can see a snippet on the screen, um, we can grab whatever we data we need from our, for our notification and then pass it into a call to the show notification function. Um, this will allow us to display a native-like notification for our app, um, including even an, a custom icon if we want to include it. Um, these notifications also have access to something called actions, which can execute um, custom code based on what the user clicks. So there's a lot you can do with them. Uh, the snippet below just is a very basic one with just some simple data. Right, so if it's on Windows, this will show up in my like Windows notification. Yeah, right. yeah, and also the app doesn't need to be running for the service worker to handle this event. Cool. Yeah. Um, what about the other one that you talked about? Periodic, periodic. <laughs> I can't try pronounce again. this word. Periodic. Periodic background sync. Go ahead. Um, yeah, periodic background sync capability is another way, great way to keep our application prepared for offline scenarios. Um, we can use this API to periodically update our app in the background. Um, we can update assets or run code that we don't want to run while the user is using the app. Um, we can use this to keep our content fresh and ready to go for the users, increasing the overall quality of their experience, speeding it up, and just making sure everything's always ready to go. Cool. I think that's all about service workers that we've yep. learned in four videos of chapter two. And to recap, we learned about what service workers are, mm -hmm. all these events like installation. Uh, what are the other events again? Uh, there's install, activate, and fetch are kind of the big three we talked about. And then we also added in a push event later on. And there's a few periodic background seek events that you can dig into yourself. And then we learned more about like advanced capabilities through a service worker that you mm -hmm. can do. Great. So like usual, here are all the resources that you can go explore the topic of progressive web apps on your own. In the next chapter, chapter three, we're going to talk about all the cool tools, developer tools that you can use to start building your own progressive web apps, including we keep talking about progressive uh, pwbuilder.com. Yes. That's actually from our team. Yeah, Very that's, that's what we work on. Cool. Thank you again for joining us in chapter two. We'll see you soon. Thank you, everyone.